Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and welcome to North Carolina. We actually happened to cop a flight down here this morning as you guys followed along with us. Got here actually right on time, but then our driver from the dealership that we're picking this new truck up from actually hit a whole bunch of traffic and we didn't get down here until about two hours later. Yes, we are picking up the truck that I haven't ever built in the history of all the truck builds on my YouTube channel. But I think that this one, with the confidence, is going to be the last one that we've technically never done out of the late model trucks. And ladies and gentlemen, here it is right in front of me. Take a look at our brand new 2022 Laramie Mega Cab 3500 Cummins Dually. Yes, I just said that, and I'm so freaking excited about this thing. Guys, real quick, the new truck is right there, and I'm about to show it to you. But I just want to let you guys know that this is the final reminder of 2022. Dream Just a Giveaway actually ends tomorrow at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and 20 times since you are live until the deadline. For Christ the Nation Nation. Get excited about seeing this truck I'm about to show you guys, but I just want to let you know. All right, on with the show. I present to you my brand new Laramie Mega Cab Cummins 3500 Dually. I had to think about that real quick because I wanted to say limited, but it's not a limited and I'm actually really excited about it. I've wanted to acquire a Laramie for quite some time because although it is essentially a limited, it has a few minor characteristical changes that I personally really prefer over the limited. We'll get into that here in a minute. So anyway, I came down with my buddy Deshaun. He's actually joining me in our seven and a half hour road trip back north in this brand new 33 mile absolutely factory murder out Cummins and I'm super freaking excited about this day because I've been on the hunt for a mega cab dually for a very long time and to kick off the end of the year or going into a brand new year of 2023 what better model to bring to our factory to the imagination and to my mind I have so many amazing things that I want to accomplish with this truck but let's not get there yet we'll get there soon let's talk a little bit about it so boys and girls it's essentially fully loaded and it is the blackout package which I'm extremely excited about it comes with a paint match grill paint match bumpers we've got blacked out with these milled window wheels they're actually really cool from the factory black steps black badges black door handles the whole nine yards it is a black interior with this like kind of white gray stitching super classy package to say the least then the fact that we're standing right here next to a mega cab dually is pretty rare in and of itself you guys go online and you search for a 3500 cummins you're gonna see a lot of crew cab long bed configurations which i actually really do love myself i'm not going to lie but being that we've done a essentially all of the manufacturer dualies except for this one right here it was long overdue now i really lucked out though because i guess you could argue that there's still another trim that i could go with and that is the crew cab long bed limited and i could also do a crew cab long bed laramie so we still have some options but i'm still going to consider this essentially the quote last of the trucks that i have not had a chance to play with or put my twist on yet now the cool thing about the laramie is it's the equivalent to a limited it just has some aesthetical changes mostly being in the front in. So it comes with a different grill style. It is not the Longhorn, which also comes with a different grill style. The Limited is very similar to this, but the big and most notable change are the headlights. So you get this upper and lower DRL that runs the span of this headlight. This is probably a good 18 to 20 inches, and it looks so sick, where the Limited actually has a more interesting kind of quad style light here, and then a projector here, which also looks amazing with a DRL underneath. But these, in my personal opinion, have a way more aggressive, way more pronounced road presence, and that really excites me especially knowing where this thing is going to end up going so as much as i would love to sit here and chat all day we actually have quite the road trip ahead of us we're going to get in route we're going to enjoy this brand new truck for the first time 
together. Oh my God, guys, it smells so good in here. We've got 33 miles on the clock. The gauge cluster is so sick on this thing. I really like Ram's interior a lot. I cannot lie. The seats look amazing. So soft to the touch. You got this complement stitching as I had touched on. You've got, of course, this configurable center console where you can lift it up and move things around. We've got factory auxiliary switches, which we know are going to be very beneficial for the enthusiast rock lights. <laughs> that are gonna be equipped on this truck eventually. It's got uh, a working seat, which we just found out about nonchalantly. And then the mega cab especially is cool because the back seats actually recline in these things. And when they go down, there is so much cargo room in the back. Now, the one thing to note about the mega cab configuration on a Dually 3500 is you actually get a shorter bed, which is kind of interesting. So this is the equivalent of like a six and a half foot bed, not the eight foot bed that would typically come on your Dually setup. And that's mostly because you get all that extra room, that extra foot and a half in the cab so you lose some cargo space in the rear but in my opinion it is an absolutely cool platform because none of the other manufacturers offer anything like it so obviously first things first we're going to turn these heated seats on now this is a new entertainment system for 2022 which is very very cool they actually updated the ios system they did not change any of the dimensions or the actual configuration but they did update the ios so that way it feels very nice and fresh but in north carolina man i'll tell you what it's quite chilly outside fortunately we've got this we've got this and everything's going to be nice and toasty to enjoy the seven and a half hour drive home. Oh, look at the reflection of this truck. It looks so, so sick. I'm not going to lie. I think this is one of my favorite looking stock trucks that I've ever bought. I mean, who can argue with a murdered out dually from the factory? I certainly can. Boys and girls, we just finished up at Pete's Burgers here in Reedsville, North Carolina. We are looking at, well, first of all, this is pretty cool. A change from 19 to 21. Apple CarPlay actually showed half the screen on the first gen fifth gens where now they updated it and it is the entire screen, which is really cool. But we've got six hours and one minute home. Now, I know we're in a small town right now, but I gotta ask, being that I'm here, is anybody from Reedsville, North Carolina? Because I was just in your stomping grounds and Pete's got some really freaking good burgers. a really fun trip home man you guys got to see the highlight reel of it but truthfully the drive was incredible and this truck is so unbelievably comfortable it is really 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 nice we got nearly 500 miles on the clock now 459 it's deemed pretty much useless at this point in time we should probably just return it am i right i mean come on this thing is old honestly though sitting here looking at this truck i really don't like factory dualies in general if i had to pick my favorite one it's the ford from the factory because they come with the bigger factory wheels but a murdered out factory dually it really doesn't get any more badass than that and i really like this truck a lot it is stable it is smooth for a 3500 and it was just cruising man sometimes in an uncomfortable car after a road trip you feel like you just don't have any more gusto left in you but man i could go another thousand miles and be perfectly fine plus they're not sponsored by chick-fil-a video but road trips boys am i right you just kind of have to make it happen so we are over here at the harrisburg airport we just dropped Deshaun off who rode with me and he is jumping in to grab what we left up here a little earlier. Yes, there it is. Guys, I failed you miserably on the vlog. I was trying to record the moment when Deshaun fired up the whole whistle missile. We got it, and then the battery died in the camera, but I take that fail as an opportunity to share that beautiful sight with you right there. Look at that murdered out land. Yeah, man, that thing is sick. Size comparison. Oh my God. This is a fantastic looking dually. 10 out of 10, if I do say so myself. I don't know why, but I love how accentuated the hips are on the mega cab whereas on a standard dually usually the bed flattens out right in this general vicinity but this thing it's just like eh, boom and let's all be honest here we as human beings can appreciate an accentuated rear end <laughs> curves for the win and this thing has got the curves and it really really does a great job of showing them off she's home with the lbz introduced to the denali and welcome to your new home yeah we got it climate controlled in here it's a comfortable 65 degrees as it's a balmy 28 outside and we've got some gifts for you now i would give you one thing but dodge did it a little bit different so i can't do that but i can do this and i've already done this check that out boys it's kind of fitting for this truck right here i must say it's kind of a nice little accent it's, it accentuates now we are 
talking, ladies and gentlemen. This thing is officially official. Look at this side profile on this truck. It's gotta be my favorite angle. Just the way that this thing presents itself is so foundationally aggressive. I've wanted to, for the longest time, build a Mega Cab 3500 Dually, and then the fifth gens came out, and I was immediately sold on the fact that it had to happen, and I'd like to say that it took this long for good and valid reason, because it gave me plenty of time to figure out exactly what it is that I wanted to do to put my spin on one of these trucks right here. The LBZ looks absolutely fantastic, as does the Denali. You guys best believe that that thing is going to be one of the sickest fit gens of all time. I had six and a half hours of windshield time to decide what it is that I wanted to do, and I've already made a slew of phone calls to get it going. It's just really cool that this truck's already essentially blacked out from the factory, and everything is of that OEM quality. Bumpers done, shrouds done, grills done, badges are this cool kind of matte black. We've got matte black badges here with this kind of interesting semi-gloss red. Same thing here on the turbo diesel badge. And then it has this little Cummins etching in the side. Black Ram badges. We've got the lock unlock buttons here on the door. Does need something here. I definitely think that we'll have some decisions to be made. I find it interesting that the fuel door is mounted on the bed, but it has no bedside to go into, but I don't hate it at all. The factory black wheels with the milled windows. Very cool. I do really like that a lot. And that's always caught my eye from pictures. Love the fifth gen taillights. They're already murdered out in the center, which is sick. The guys and girls in design definitely took the enthusiast input on that one. It might be that they watch some YouTube channels from time to time, and I'm not taking credit at all. But I had a blast. The thing is absolutely sick, and I'm so happy to have it here. So that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that's where I'm gonna wrap up the vlog. It is pretty late. We are talking now, approaching 10 o'clock p.m. I wanna get inside. I wanna see my wife. I always look so forward to coming home and seeing her. I'm a very blessed man to have a lady like that in my life. And it stays like today, especially to my dad's out there that I didn't get to see my little man at all. I woke up before he woke up and I got back after he went to sleep. And there's never a single point in my day where I'm like, look, man, I'm working today. It's justified reason to not see my family. I think that that's an absolutely pathetic excuse. Although there are exceptions to be had. You just have to do what you have to do sometimes. But man, it makes me look so forward to when I get to surprise him walking into his room tomorrow to say good morning. You gotta prioritize all angles of your life. And my final takeaway is Dream Does a Giveaway ends tomorrow, Tuesday, the 20th at 1159 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So boys and girls, this is your very last reminder ever of 2022.